Alphonse Nicholson, Neil McDonough, who also is a producer, and others, read it here. However, this film is being produced without our clients' input or approval and in violation of their rights to publicity and privacy and in defamation of their characters. As we and our clients have not seen the full Black Spartans script, and naturally the finished film, we cannot identify with more particularity any defamatory material, attorney Devin McRae goes on to say on behalf of 1965 and 1966 Michigan State University football players Gene Washington, Jim. However, we can and have put you on notice that the source material for the film appears unreliable, and that you proceed at your peril. Any defamatory content will have been published with actual malice. The partner at Early Sullivan Wright Geyser and McRae LLP also noted inconsistencies, misrepresentations and getting it exactly backward in pages from the Black Spartans script that Jones has posted on social media. Black Spartans is based in part on David Clearbout's 2018 book Duffy Dougherty. A man ahead of his time. On the field as civil rights legislation and protests were transforming America in the 1960s, the Duffy Dougherty coached Michigan State Spartans were the first fully integrated college football team in the nation. Putting the racists and doubters in their place. The 1965 and 1966 Michigan State won national championships with about 20 black players on the squads, including captains for the latter team. With legendary QB and future NFL star Ray calling the plays, the 1966 national championship game, a battle of unbeatens against top-ranked Notre Dame, was termed the game of the century for years afterward. It ended in a 10-10 tie, and the Spartans and Fighting Irish shared the national title. Jones, Jimmy V, V. Lasaris, McDonough, Casey Cott, David Brown, Rochelle Clairbout, Ruth McDonough, Justin Notes Marable produced the film, with Corey Wharton serving as EP. Making the stakes of the matter and a looming lawsuit crystal clear. Attorney McRae also states in his letter of September 13, Our clients were already exploited once for their race and talent, we fully expect that a court will not permit it to happen again in Black Spartans.